California lies a vast expanse of seasonal wetlands. These canals, sloughs, and marshes all form a unique network that forms the basis of a very unique ecosystem. The seasons govern the wetlands, and rain clouds are the heralds of change. In late fall, the rainy season brings a welcome respite to California's long dry summer. Life in the valley depends on these fall and winter rains as they effectively recharge the wetlands and set the stage for a productive ecosystem. Within a few weeks, the landscape transforms from a golden grassland to a shimmering oasis. In the calm mornings following a heavy winter rain, the ground cools rapidly and the moisture condenses in the air. The warm high pressure air from the surrounding mountain ranges traps the fog in the valley, shrouding the wetlands in a cloak of tule fog. When conditions are right, the tule fog covers the entire valley and it is visible from space. The fog gets its name from the thatches of tule reeds that abound in the wetlands. But out of the cold moist air, comes one of the oldest sounds of the natural world. A guttural trumpet carries through the tule fog as it has done so for millions of years. Sandhill cranes. They are thought to have the longest fossil history of any living bird with remains dating back two and a half million years to the early Pleistocene. They are the largest birds on the wetlands, standing four feet tall, and they have a wingspan of seven feet. With the onset of fall, the cranes leave their breeding grounds in the Arctic and migrate thousands of miles to reach their wintering grounds here in the Central Valley. During the migration, the cranes form survival groups in which non-related individuals congregate to forage and roost together. And the cranes are not alone, for they are but a fraction of the number of birds that will migrate along the Pacific Flyway to spend the winter in California. Here on the wetlands we have a huge diversity of ducks. There's some northern pintails out here. The pintails are first to arrive here in early fall. The males are adorned with strikingly handsome plumage, complete with long elegant tail feathers. There's some green winged teals. Northern shovelers. Shovelers have elongated bills complete with comb-like projections that strain the water for food. The water teems with millions of tiny invertebrates, which make up a nutritious duck soup enjoyed by the hungry waterfowl. These critters range from the vibrant to the truly bizarre. While most of the ducks feast, some have other things on their mind. But perhaps the most majestic of all the wintering waterfowl are the snow geese. In early November, small flocks can be seen gracing the sky. But the show is only just beginning.
thunderous cacophony roars through the winter wetlands. Over one and a quarter million geese will settle here for the winter. This is California's greatest migration. It happens every year here in the Central Valley. For much of the year, the birds live in the far northern regions of Alaska and Russia, where they breed and rear their young. But come fall, they take to the skies. They travel along the Pacific Flyway until they arrive in California. The geese can fly at an altitude of 3,000 feet, reaching speeds of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Along their exodus, they often fly non-stop for 70 hours. When they finally reach the promised land, they return to the ground to rest. The geese are primarily herbivorous, and they forage for grasses, grains, and seeds. Several other species of geese also make the migration, like these white-fronted geese. The different species often stick close together for safety. But the wetlands are far from a safe haven. Bald eagles perch in the trees, intently scanning the wetlands for a possible meal. They are drawn to the valley's abundance of waterfowl, and they take temporary residence here in the winter. Other raptors take advantage of the winter bounty as well, like the rare peregrine falcon and several species of hawks. The raptors all have sharp eyesight to spot their victims from afar. When they lock onto a target, they engage. Here, a young eagle patrols the wetlands, diligently planning his attack. When he approaches the flock of waterfowl, chaos ensues. Despite extensive modification by man, California's wetlands still retain some of their natural glory. Life abounds in this valley, and it manifests most strongly during the winter migration. In this program, we've witnessed the splendor of the Central Valley's wetland habitat, and the wildlife that depends on it. Now, in the midst of the worst drought on record, it is up to us to preserve this incredible ecosystem and ensure the survival of California's wild wetlands.